Shemuel Shani to Samuel 24. And again, the anger of Yahuwah was kindled against Yashar'el, and he moved Eth David against them to say, Go, number Eth Yashar'el and Eth Yahuda. For the king said to Yoav, the captain of the host, which was with him, Go now through all the tribes of Yashar'el, from Dan even to Be'er Shiva, and number ye eth the people, that I may know eth the number of the people. And Yoav said unto the king, Now Yahuwah Eloheka add unto the people, how many soever they be, a hundredfold, and that the eyes of my lord the king may see it. But why does my lord the king delight in this thing? Notwithstanding the king's word, prevailed against Joab and against the captains of the host. And Joab and the captains of the host went out from the presence of the king to number eth the people of eth Yashar'el. And they passed over eth the Yardan and pitched in Aror Er on the right side of the city that lies in the midst of the river of Gad and toward Ya'azer. They, rather, then they came to Gilad and to the land of the Tachtim, Choch, Chogdish, rather, Chadshi, and they came to Dan Ya'an and about to Sidan and came to the stronghold of Sor and to all the cities of the Chivim and of the Kenaim. They went out to the Negev of Yahuda, even to Be'er Shiva. So when they had gone through all the land, they came to Yerushalayim at the end of nine months and twenty days. And Yoav gave up at the sum of the number of the people unto the king. And there were in Yashara'el eight hundred thousand valiant men that drew the sword. And the men of Yahuda were five hundred thousand men. And David's heart smote him after that he had numbered the people. And David said unto El Yahuwah, I have sinned greatly in that I have done. And now I beseech you, O Yahuwah, take away the iniquity of your servant, for I have done very foolishly. For when David was up in the morning, the word of Yahuwah came unto the prophet Gad, David's seer, saying, Go and say unto El David, Thus says Yahuwah, I offer you three things. Choose you one of them, that I may do it unto you. So Gad came to El David and told him, and said unto him, Shall seven years of famine come unto you in your land, or will you flee three months before your enemies while they pursue you, or that there be three days pestilence in your land? Now advise and see what answer I shall return to him that sent me. And David said unto Gad, I am in a great strait. Let us fall now into the hand of Yahuwah, for his mercies are great. And let me not fall into the hand of man. So Yahuwah sent a pestilence upon Yashadael from the morning even to the time appointed. And there died of the people from Dan even to Be'er Shiva 70,000 men. And when the angel stretched out his hand upon Yarushalayim to destroy it, Yahuwah repented of the evil and said to the angel that destroyed the people, It is enough. Stay now your hand. And the angel of Yahuwah was by the threshing place of Aran, rather, Aravna, the Yavusi. And David spoke unto El Yahuwah, when he saw at the angel that smote the people and said, Lo, I have sinned 
and I have done wickedly. But these sheep, what have they done? Let your hand, I pray you, be against me and against my father's house. And God came that day to El David and said unto him, Go up, rear an altar unto Yahuwah in the threshing floor of Aravna, the Yavisi. And David, according to the saying of God, went up as Yahuwah commanded. And Aravna looked and saw Eth the king and Eth his servants coming on toward him. And Aravna went out and bowed himself before the king on his face upon the ground. And Aravna said, Wherefore is my lord the king come to his servant? And David said, To buy Eth the threshing floor of you, to build an altar unto Yahuwah, that the plague may be stayed from the people. And Aravna said unto El David, Let my lord the king take and offer up what seems good unto him. Behold, here be oxen for burnt sacrifice and threshing instruments and other instruments of the oxen for wood. All these things did Aravna as a king give unto the king. And Aravna said unto the king, Yahuwah Eloheka, accept you. And the king said unto Aravna, Nay, but I will surely buy it of you at a price. Neither will I offer burnt offerings unto Yahuwah Elohai of that which cost me nothing. So David bought at the threshing floor and at the oxen for fifty shekels of silver. And David built there an altar unto Yahuwah and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings. So Yahuwah was entreated for the land and the plague was stayed from Yashara'el.